Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So what do you guys think about a fight between Michaela Mayer and uh, and I apologize for uh, butchering her name Mava Hamadoche Hamadoche I again I apologize for, for butchering her name um, Yeah, what do you guys think about a fight between these two fighters? Before I get more into the video. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, to those who don't know, according to ESPN, according to my coping your sources, uh, a fight between Mayer and Mava is uh, currently in talks to fight at 130 pound in a title unification fight to headline a an event on ESPN or ESPN Plus sometime in November. That's really good news, in my opinion. Especially for women boxing to be shown live on, especially if it, this fights on ESPN. I think that would be awesome if this fights on ESPN. It it's you don't really see that many women fights headlining an event. Let's be honest. Women boxing is not as popular as uh you know women mma um fighters in women boxing don't get paid as much as women in mma hence why clarissa shields is now competing at mma instead of boxing which is unfortunate because clarissa shields in my opinion has the opportunity to become the greatest of all time undisputed if she continues boxing but she finds herself competing in mma instead um, you know, Mayer is a very good boxer, in my opinion. I've been a fan. I've been following her since she became pro. And I've been always, you know, supportive of her. Uh, to those who actually don't know who she is, she's a 31-year-old fighter from Colorado. 15 wins, 0 loss, 5 wins come by way of knockout TKO. Coming off uh, a good win against Erica Farias. Won the fight by unanimous decision. Um... Yeah, she's done pretty well over the years since turning pro in 2017 and now here she is in her 16th pro fight as a world champion after winning the belt, a vacant belt, against Eva Brodnika. This will be her second fight after winning the belt against Meva Hemadoch. And again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing her name. 31-year-old fighter from France. 22 wins, 1 loss, 18 wins come by way of knockout TKO. That 18 wins out of 22 wins is... A very damn good ratio. Very, very good ratio. You don't see that many female boxers getting TKO and knockout wins. On the other hand, Maeva has that power. So it will be interesting to see how Michaela Mayer can take that power. And the only fighter that Maeva lost to is back in 2015 against Delphine Persoon. And if you guys don't know who Delphine Persoon is, Delphine Persoon is a 36-year-old fighter from Belgium who arguably defeated Katie Taylor back in 2019. They had the rematch. It was another close fight. Um, yeah, that fight, uh, Taylor ended up edging it more, in my opinion. But she definitely arguably defeated Taylor the first time around. No doubt about it. So it's going to be a pretty interesting fight, this fight between Mayer and uh, Mayville. And I'd love to see it. Hopefully, I honestly hope it, it becomes the headliner. I hope it becomes the main event. And I hope ESPN and Top Rank goes behind in promoting women boxing and promoting Michaela Mailer, considering that she's American. Obviously, as an American, as myself, you know, I'm I'm, I'm rooting for Mailer, Mayer, you know. I want her to win. I want her to be successful. I want, her, I want women boxing to be successful. And um, in my opinion, for women boxing to be successful, it has to be successful in the United States of America. In my opinion. So, an American has to put it out there in, in my opinion i don't know i mean i know a lot of people oh maybe i'm biased because obviously i'm an american so <laughs> anyway I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on this fight let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks